All right, what's going on, Houdat Nation? It's your boy, Buddy Yoda, back at it again with another NFL video. And today, I will be breaking down my predictions for week two. Now, I know I'm a little late. I had already written down my predictions, but I forgot to upload. I didn't upload this in time for the uh, Thursday night football game between uh, the Washington football team and New York Giants. So, let's get in. I will be predicting the straight up spread and over under now for the giants and washington game that's already happened i did predict washington to win straight up but i also had them covering the spread which i missed so that's unfortunate uh and quick note uh last week four predictions i was nine and seven for straight up nine and seven for spread and eight and eight for over under so not great not horrible i could definitely do better and i want to do better this week uh i did predict the over though so Pretty good starting out with that for two of three. Next, we have uh, Las Vegas and at Pittsburgh. I have a, uh, I have the Raiders. I have Las Vegas taking this one straight up, so beating the spread. And but I have this being a gritty defensive battle, so I have taking the under for that one. Uh, Cincinnati at Bears is another one of my upsets. I have the the Bengals upsetting the Bears in. Uh, in Soldier Field. Uh, personally, I just didn't really like what I saw from the Bears on uh, Sunday night versus the Rams. Uh, but I do expect this to ha have a little bit of offensive showdown in it, so I'm going to take the over in that. Uh, next, we've got Houston, Houston at Cleveland uh, with uh, Cleveland at plus 12 and a half, or not 12 and a half, 12 and a half point favorites and a spread of 48.5. Uh, taking Cleveland straight up, but I'm taking Houston to cover the spread because that is just too big of a spread for me to reasonably say. I can't expect a professional team to cover, but I do expect there to be an over because I expect the Browns to put up about 30 points and Houston to cover at about 20. Uh, next, you have the LA Rams at Indianapolis. Uh, Indy is a four-point underdog here with a 47.5-point spread. Uh, give me the Rams to win straight up the spread, and I would take the over in this situation. Uh, next, you've got Buffalo at Miami. Miami being three and a half point underdogs with a 47 and a half point spread. Uh, give me Buffalo here. I think they'll bounce back this week. I think Josh Allen and that offense will bounce back, but give me the under because uh, I just don't trust the uh, Dolphins offense to keep up. Uh, next, we have Pats, New England Patriots at the New York Jets. Uh, Jets are five and a half point underdogs with a 42 and a half spread. Uh, give me the Patriots to uh, win straight up and for spread, but give me the under here. I th think this is going to be another defensive battle. I did like what I, I do like what I see in Mac Jones from Week One. And I think he can definitely improve upon that. Next, you've got uh, San Francisco at Philadelphia. Philadelphia had a very good game last week against Atlanta, and the 49ers almost choked. But I'm still going to take San Francisco for straight up and as the three-and-a-half-point uh, favorites. And I'm also going to take an over because I could see this easily becoming an offensive shootout. Next, you've got New Orleans Saints at Carolina. My home team, New Orleans Saints. Uh, Carolina's... Carolina are three and a half point underdogs, and you've got a 44 and a half point spread. Uh, give me New Orleans for straight up and beating the spread, but give me the over in this one. I think it'll be a nice def uh, offensive game. Uh, then you've got uh, Denver at Jaguars. Uh, Jags are six point underdogs with 45 and a half point spread. Give me Denver, Denver to win straight up and cover the spread, uh, but I'm taking the under on this one. Uh, Minneapolis at Arizona. Arizona are three and a half point favorites with a 51 point spread. Give me Arizona to win straight up as well as the over. They put up a field day against the Tennessee Titans in week one. And let me have the over in this. I think uh, the offense for Minnesota will still be pretty decent and put up around 20 to 27 points. But that defense, I think, is still a little suspect. Uh, then you have Atlanta at Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa is an 11 and a half point favorite uh, with a 51 and a half point uh, for the over under. 
Uh, give me Tampa straight up, but I'm actually going to take Atlanta to cover here. I think they'll uh, I think they'll bounce back from how they performed Week One personally, and that that eleven and a half point spread is just a little too tempting for me. But uh, give me the over in this one. Next, you have Dallas at the uh, L.A. Chargers. Uh, the Chargers are two and a half point favorites with a fifty five point five spread. Uh, give me the Chargers straight up as well as against the spread. I think this will be an offensive shootout, so I'm going to take the over in this one. Next, you have Tennessee at Seattle. Uh, Seattle are four and a half point favorites with a 53 and a half point spread. Uh, give me Seattle to win straight up and against the spread, but give me the under for that one. Uh, next, you have Casey at Baltimore. Baltimore being three and a half point underdogs with a 55 and a half point spread. I expect Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill to keep going where they left off. So give me Casey straight up and the spread, but give me the over on this one. Uh, and lastly, you have Detroit at Green Bay. Uh, Green Bay is favored by 11 and a half points. Uh, the spread is 48 and a half. Uh, give me Green Bay straight up, but I expect Detroit to cover. Uh, they almost came back and beat the 49ers last week. And uh, give me the over on this one. I think this will be another good offensive game. So those are my straight up and spread predictions and over under for week two. I'll let you know how I do next week. And as always, who dat?